In problem four, we're asked which of the following implications is true. So we know that when we have P and Q, and P implies Q, we can write a truth table here to tell us when this implication is true and false. So we know that true implies true is true, false implies anything is vacuously true, but that true implies false is false. So what we need to do is figure out for each of these statements if P is true or false, and if P is true we need to make sure that Q is true, otherwise the implication will be false. So for the first one we have if 30 is divisible by 10, 30 is divisible by 10, therefore we have a true statement, then Q, then 40 is divisible by 10. That's also true. So we end up with true implies true, which puts us in the first case, meaning that P implies Q is true. The implication is true. In the second case, if 30 is divisible by 9, this is false. Therefore, it doesn't matter what it implies. From our truth table above, we know that the implication is automatically true. In part 3, if 30 is divisible by 10, again this is true, then 40 is divisible by 9. That is false. Therefore, from our truth table above, we see that P implies Q is false. In the fourth one, if 30 is divisible by 9, this is false. Therefore, again, it doesn't matter what it implies. From our truth table, P implies Q is true.